Hello, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to Mother and Refuge of the End Times. Today, we have a blog post we would like to bring to you from the Spirit Daily website. This post originally appeared on April 9th of 2024. The title of this post is When Eclipses Are Harbingers. Throughout history, when events in the sky have fascinated, awed, and frightened, they have been associated with momentous subsequent events. Underlying subsequent, those events don't usually happen concurrently or immediately. Case in point, the Great Comet of 1811, with a corona over a million miles across, making it visible in the sky for almost a year. To many, the appearance of this unusual celestial visitor in the night sky portended doom. This comet passed closest to Earth on October 20th of 1811, the head and corona wider than the diameter of the sun, and with an extraordinarily long and brilliant tail. There was no immediate apocalypse, but two months later, on December 16th of the same year, the first of three extraordinary earthquakes struck the Midwestern and Southern United States. The quakes were so intense, they shook a church bell in New England and coastal South Carolina. And for a time, parts of the Mississippi River flowed backwards. They were considered magnitudes of seven to eight, and people blame them on the comet. Most events in the sky are less portentous. Witness the Haley Bob Comet in 1997. But the great Aurora Borealis on January 26, 1938, which Fatima Seer Lucia dos Santos connected with the great sign, predicted in one of her secrets, was seen by much of the world a month before Hitler and his Nazis marched into Austria which many peg as the start of World War II. The Pope tied to Fatima John Paul II was born the day of a partial eclipse in the Southern Hemisphere, and on the day of his funeral occurred another. If the eclipse of 2024 was indeed a sign, it could be weeks or months before a historic event happens. Now, here's the upshot. Don't get swept away, but stay tuned. Eclipses have long fascinated humanity, often occurring alongside significant historical events, whether by coincidence or through the interpretations of those witnessing them. Here's a list of notable eclipses that coincided with momentous events throughout our history. The first one is the Battle of Halys in 585 BC. This is often cited as the earliest recorded eclipse. This event interrupted a battle between the Lydians and the Medes, leading to a truce. This eclipse was predicted by Thales of Miletus, marking a significant moment in the history of astronomy. The second one is the death of Louis the Pious in 840 AD, the eclipse that occurred shortly before the death of Louis the Pious is often linked to the subsequent disintegration of the Carolingian Empire as his sons fought for control, leading to the Treaty of Verdun. Number three is the eclipse of Thales in 585 BC. This eclipse, predicted by Thales, reputedly caused a cessation of hostilities between the Lydians and the Medes, who were engaged in battle, leading to peace. Number four is the crucifixion of Jesus in 33, some interpretations of the Christian Bible suggest that an eclipse occurred during the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, though this is theologically and astronomically debated. Number five is the Viking invasion of England in 1133 AD. King Henry I of England died shortly after an eclipse, an event that was seen as an omen. His death led to a period of civil war in England. The sixth event is the birth of Genghis Khan in 1162 AD. Legend holds that Genghis Khan was born on a day marked by a total solar eclipse, symbolizing his impact on the world, though historical evidence for this is at present anecdotal. Number seven is the Battle of Angiacourt in 1415 AD. An eclipse occurred shortly before the famous battle, which was seen as a bad omen by the French. 
The English victory was a turning point in the Hundred Years' War. Number eight is Columbus uses an eclipse in 1504 AD. Christopher Columbus, who was stranded in Jamaica, used his knowledge of an upcoming lunar eclipse to convince the local population to provide him with supplies, effectively saving his crew from starvation. Number nine is the American Revolution in 1778. A solar eclipse visible in the United States was interpreted by some as an omen of British defeat occurring during a crucial year of the American Revolutionary War. Number 10 is World War I in 1914. Just before the outbreak of World War I, an eclipse was visible across Europe, adding to the tense atmosphere of the time. Number 11 is Einstein's theory of relativity in 1919. An eclipse provided the key evidence for Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, significantly impacting the course of modern physics. Number 12 is World War II in 1939. An eclipse occurred just months before the outbreak of World War II, adding to the global tension. Number 13 is the birth of the internet in 1999. The last total solar eclipse of the millennium occurred in August of 1999, a period often associated with the tech boom and the mainstream emergence of the internet. Number 14, last but not least, some believe the ancient city of Nineveh was in the path of the totality of a total solar eclipse around the time Jonah was warning it of destruction. Now, these events highlight the historical significance of eclipses, not just as celestial phenomena, but as markers or omens that have been interpreted in various ways throughout history. Please stay and join us for prayers and devotions for the intentions of these omens and this eclipse that has just happened in the United States that was visible, and a personal intention of my interest is let us pray and let us keep in prayer people who are still in darkness and haven't seen the light because the time is fading fast. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Chaplet of Our Lady's Tears, as revealed by a Lord and His Mother, to stigmatist Sister Amalia of Jesus Scourged in Brazil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Crucified Jesus, we fall at your feet and offer you the tears of the one who, with deep compassionate love, accompanied you on your sorrowful way of the cross. Grant, O good Master, that we take to heart the lessons which the tears of your Most Holy Mother teach us, so that we may fulfill your holy will on earth, that we may be worthy to praise and exalt you in heaven for all eternity. The First Mystery The Prophecy of Simeon Let us meditate upon the tears shed by our Most Holy Mother during Simeon's prophecy that a sword would pierce her heart. Let us reflect on the sorrow Our Lady had, knowing the sufferings of Jesus in advance. O oh, Jesus, look upon the tears of the one who loved you most on earth and loves you most ardently in heaven. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers 
for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. The second mystery, the flight into Egypt. Let us meditate upon the tears shed by our Most Holy Mother during the exile to Egypt, Herod's persecution, and Our Lady's sorrows for the death of the Holy Innocents. O oh, Jesus, look upon the tears of the one who loved you most on earth and loves you most ardently in heaven. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, Hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. O Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. The Third Mystery Jesus is Lost in the Temple Let us meditate upon the tears shed by our Most Holy Mother during her search for Jesus. Let us consider the sorrows of Our Lady in her motherly heart. O oh, Jesus, look upon the tears of the one who loved you most on earth and loves you most ardently in heaven. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. The Fourth Mystery Mary meets Jesus on the Via Crucis. Let us meditate upon the tears shed by our Most Holy Mother during the tortures of Jesus caused by the scourging, the crowning with thorns, the suffering for the wound on his shoulder, his falls, and the painful stripping of his garments. O oh, Jesus, look upon the tears of the one who loved you most on earth and loves you most ardently in heaven. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your Most Holy Mother's tears. The fifth mystery, the crucifixion of Jesus, his agony and death. Let us meditate about this abyss of sufferings, and the piercing of his sacred heart by the lance. O oh, Jesus, look upon the tears of the one who loved you most on earth and loves you most ardently in heaven. O oh, Jesus, 
Hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. The Sixth Mystery, the Pieta Let us meditate upon Our Lady receiving the lifeless body of Jesus in her arms. Let us ponder the sentiments of Our Lady at that time. O oh, Jesus, look upon the tears of the one who loved you most on earth and loves you most ardently in heaven. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. The seventh mystery. Jesus is taken to the tomb. Let us meditate upon the sufferings of Our Lady until the moment of the resurrection. O oh, Jesus, look upon the tears of the one who loved you most on earth and loves you most ardently in heaven. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, hear our prayers for the sake of your most holy mother's tears. O oh, Jesus, look upon the tears of the one who loved you most on earth and loves you most ardently in heaven. O oh, Jesus, look upon the tears of the one who loved you most on earth and loves you most ardently in heaven. O oh, Jesus, Look upon the tears of the one who loved you most on earth and loves you most ardently in heaven. O oh Mary, Mother of love, sorrow, and mercy, we beg you to unite your prayers with ours so that Jesus, your divine Son to whom we turn, may hear our petitions in the name of your maternal tears and may give us, in addition to the favors we ask, the crown of everlasting life. Amen. By your divine meekness, O Jesus bound, save the world from the error which threatens it. O Virgin most sorrowful, your tears have destroyed the infernal empire. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Welcome to Mother in Refuge of the End Times. We are thrilled to be releasing our latest prayer book titled The Most Holy Rosary, Prayers and Mystical Meditations of Saints and Seers. The Most Holy Rosary is one of the greatest prayers in the history of the Church. Garnished as it is with the testimony of saints and popes for the last thousand years, 
The only prayers that could be said to be greater are those of the Mass and the Divine Office, yet many still seek ways to enter into the deeper mansions of spiritual richness to be found in this devotion. To assist with this process, Mother and Refuge of the End Times has compiled revelations and meditations from some of the most notable and popular Catholic mystics and saints. These mystics were gifted with first-hand revelations by means of visions and apparitions of the life of our Lord Jesus and His Holy Mother. We have selected some writings from these remarkable revelations to assist in the meditation of each of the 20 mysteries of the Holy Rosary. The main mystic meditations featured are St. Padre Pio, Blessed Anne Catherine Emmerich, Servant of God, Don Delindo Rotolo, Servant of God Luisa Picaretta, Maria Valtorta, and others. In addition, this unique Rosary Prayer Book contains both the Latin and English prayers of the Rosary. It has been originally illustrated by our own Catholic religious illustrator with over 23 inspiring illustrations that will surely lift your hearts in prayer and in fervor. This is a Rosary Prayer Book that will surely be a classic. As always, we thank you all for your continued support of our prayer book ministry and our channel. May God bless you and keep you, and may the Immaculate Heart of Mary be your refuge. Amen.